Hello, I want to share with you another math game that we love to use in our homeschool. It's called Tribulation and it's quite old. So I'm going to open up the box and show you what's inside. It comes with this plastic tray that can hold 49 little tiles with numbers marked 1 through 9 on it. And the 6 and the 9 are interchangeable. And it's quite thin. And it also comes with these little tiles that have the numbers 1 to 49 on them as well. This game is really old. It's from 1981, and I've had it for way too many years. And we still love it. We play it all the time. And um, the directions are um, also uh, on the box and inside this little pamphlet that, for some reason, I've been able to keep all these years. So... Um, these are little cardboard tiles, and I realize that this game is really old and you might not be able to find it, and so I wanted to show you how to make this game. Uh, first, I'm gonna show you how to play it, though. So um, I just showed you the tile that has the number eight on it, and we are gonna try to find a combination of numbers that are going to make eight, in which the first two numbers need to be multiplied, and the last number is either added or subtracted. So here I'm showing you that three, times 5 makes 15, minus 7 makes 8. Let's try another one, 22. So we're going to try to find a combination of numbers in which the first two numbers are multiplied and the last one is added or subtracted. So there I am showing you 5 times 6 is 30, minus 8 makes 22. Let's try 49. Now all the numbers need to be um, like uh, vertical, horizontal, or diagonal. You can't like do a corner. So let's try 43. That's 5 times 9 is 45, minus 2 makes 43. Next up is 44. It's funny because I can see it now, but <laughs> while we were playing, it took us a little longer to find it. Um, so we have 6 times 8 is 48, minus 4 makes 44. Next up was 38. So we're doing 6 times 6 is 36, minus 2 is 38. So that was on a diagonal. 11. And my son finds that one really quickly, and he needs to slow down <laughs> and explain how he found it. So that's 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11. So the sixes and the nines are um, interchangeable, so you just have to choose um, when it comes to little blue tiles whether you're going to do a six or a nine. And then when it comes to the numbers on the board, they could be either a six or a nine, which is really convenient because, you know, for one math computation, you could use it as a nine, and then the next time around, you can use it as a six. So for this one, we're going to be looking for a 6, which is 2 times 4 makes 8 minus 2, and we have 6. Now we're looking for 7. So we have 1 times 5 makes 5, plus 2 is 7. And now we're looking for 1, and that's 1 times 6 minus 5, and that makes 1. So 15. Sometimes this game goes really fast and other times we just really get stuck. So now I want to show you how to make this game on your own. And I am using my Silhouette Cameo program for this, but you could just print this out on, um, on a regular sheet of paper and then just use a paper trimmer and just cut out little squares. I just happen to have my Silhouette Cameo and so it was really easy and convenient to put this all into the program and then have my tool cut out these shapes for me. So you need 49 blue tiles marked 1 to 50 actually and then you need a, a variety of interior tiles and you can check my blog for the details of how many of each number that you need. So I'm using some magnetic sheets that have adhesive on one side in order to adhere down my tiles to um, something that's going to have a bit more, it's going to make it a bit more sturdy and also then I can um, put the whole game on like say the refrigerator or a magnetic dry erase board and, um, and that way we can play a game without the um, tiles shuffling around and moving from their position. 
And so I'm going to put each of the tiles on and then this um, material is actually really easy to cut through. So it didn't take very long to cut these um, tiles out from the magnetic sheets. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. And we tried it out and it plays just as easy and as well as the original game. So that was, that was quite fun. You could skip this step and just cut it out of some thicker cardstock and you don't have to back it on magnetic sheets at all. I just want to show you a side by side that our game turned out pretty close to the original, which is good since, like I said, I don't think you can find it anymore. So this is a nice alternative for this game and it's just to make it on your own. Okay guys, thank you for watching.